morning. So I decided I would vlog again today. I have just had the worst morning. I got up this morning and I had uh, good news to begin with. I got sent through the uh, two versions of the music video that was done during the summer to look over it and see what I thought of it. And um, that was really exciting. They are amazing. So I can't wait for the finished thing to come out and to actually show everyone. But yeah, so I had that and I turned my laptop on to watch it and I noticed that my laptop has gotten damaged at the airport, which is the worst thing that could have happened. I don't know if you would see it, but like those black marks, they're on the screen. They're not like scuff marks or anything. Like you can see that they're very like digital and there's little ones all over the screen like that's not dirt which is just awful um because that means there's something more wrong with the laptop not i i can just i can live with those little bits of black that it doesn't bother me that much it's more what that means for the laptop and screens are very expensive to get replaced so that's going to be interesting um but yeah, so not a great morning with that. And then I edited a video at the airport um, because I was so unorganised and obviously it's Wednesday today and a video is supposed to go up today. So I had edited a video and I needed to film the audio today, which I was going to do and then quickly export it and upload it, which is why I woke up early to do it. And the edited version of the video disappeared. I don't know where it's gone to. So... I had the choice of either re-editing that video, which would have taken quite a while because it was a fiddly video to edit, or edit the <coughs> the uh, vlog I did yesterday of me arriving to Plymouth. So I decided to do that one instead. So you'll have seen last Wednesday um, the vlog of me moving in which I currently have exporting. It is a quarter past 12 at the moment, so it's kind of terrifying if I'm going to get it up in time. Yeah, at the moment, according to how long it's going to take, I won't I won't even get it exported on time, let alone uploaded. I don't know, but you can see it's currently exporting. That's the beginning of it, if you haven't seen it. But yeah, it's saying remaining time an hour and nine minutes. And that's definitely that that's already over past 1 p.m so sorry that the video was like late, late last week this is why i'm just going to try and get it up as quickly as possible <laughs> that's all i can do unfortunately but yeah that's what i've been dealing with this morning which is why i'm starting this so late at midday and um, i haven't currently open even opened my blinds yet <laughs> and oh my gosh the mess is incredible so that's this is what my bedroom is currently looking like a big state but yeah I at least have my bed made and that's at least something but yeah I'm dressed I need to sort my hair out and I suppose I'm going to do more unpacking while that's exporting because I can't do anything else on my laptop while that's happening. Um, so yeah.
so I need to go to the uni. Um, oh, I need to give this to the new treasurer for uh, choir. Put that in my bag. And I also need to get a couple of bits from the shop. Um, and I also need to enrol because it won't let me do it online. <coughs> Sorry, so I'm going to do that. However, this is dying. Um, I don't have a spare battery. So I'll try and film a few bits, maybe. Um, but this might just die on me, so <laughs> we'll see. Mark has completely changed their layout and I'm so confused. <laughs> around and yeah my room looks like an absolute state in this ignore that um so I did end up buying a couple of bits I have a bag full of stuff um it's just a, a bag I already owned um but yeah so I went to Lush first and I really wanted to well let's rephrase that I have been so obsessed with watching zero waste videos on YouTube at the moment and it's Okay, so my camera cut out and it's actually the next day. Um, I did try filming this on a different camera, but it didn't work. I don't know why. Um, it was all like really fast and no audio, so I need to figure out how to film on that. But um, I'm going to film this bit again. Unfortunately, this means I don't have the prices because I already took everything off, but we'll see how we do. So I was in the middle of talking about... Um, looking at zero waste videos and yeah I've been really inspired by them and really want to try and reduce the amount of waste that I have which I mean is going to be a very difficult task altogether but I figured little by little <clears throat> I can get there so the first thing was from Lush and it was it I got this tin to begin with which was 250 I believe it just has the Lush logo on it and inside is a shampoo bar and it smells divine. It's a really fresh smell. Uh, it has seaweed in it, it has sea salt and lemon and probably some other ingredients but it smells amazing. And the point of this tin in particular is that you don't have to take this out, you just rub it onto your hair uh, because the other option is like a square tin which you can take it in and out of. But yeah, the, this itself was £7.50 and it's supposed to give you around 60 to 80 washes or something like that, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, this was what I got from Lush and I'm really excited to try this out. Then everything else I got from Primark. So I only ended up buying one piece of clothing and um, everything I tried on didn't really work. Um, but I saw a jumper, this jumper, when I was going back up the steps and I was like, I need that jumper. Um, I'd seen it originally in uh, another YouTuber's um, Primark haul. Uh, she's called El Toria on YouTube. And as soon as she like tried this on, I was like, I need that. So I saw it and I had to get it. And it's this huge, go back, really huge oversized jumper. And it's like a, a gray knitted effect. And it has this really soft, fluffy section right before the cuff. And it's incredible, like it's it's super oversized, um, and it's meant to be that way. And I really loved it. Um, and this is a size small, which they've changed all of their sizes. So, like generally in pretty much every shop, I'm a medium, but I'm now a small in Primark, which 
I mean, it's great, but it's weird. Um, so yeah, this is the best thing ever. And I believe this was £13. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but pretty positive this was £13. I then got something a bit more practical. I really needed a new belt. Um, so I got this black one. Um, very, very simple. Kind of like a medium thickness, I'd say. And just a gold, rose gold kind of buckle. And this was a, a size medium. I don't wear belts often. I only wear them when I really need to. And the one I owned has just gotten so ratty and it needs throwing out. So I picked this up instead. And I believe this was about two pounds ish. <laughs> I also picked up some super fluffy slippers and they're memory foam and they're the softest things ever. And they've got this like cross bit, you can see. Um, and it's just super, super fluffy. I figured black would be the best, I don't know, to not show any muck or anything, to look the best. Um, and I got the size five to six, and they're just so, so fluffy. I believe these were three pounds, and they are just, I've been wearing them ever since, and they are incredible. I'm gonna put these back on, actually. <laughs> I took them off for the video. <laughs> okay, so the second last thing, um, I picked up these, which are just little um, kitchen cloths to, wash the surfaces with. I've already started using one, uh, which is why it's not folded, but I just love the pattern of all of these. Um, it's a microfiber cloth, small kind of size, very, very nice. And um, it was just a part of the Primark home. And yeah, I loved the colors, the yellow and the gray all mixed together. It's just incredible. Um, and this was, I think, pound fifty. Okay, and then the very last item that I got was a laundry bag and I love this it's a canvas style kind of pinky toned canvas um, and then like a cream rope on the top with little handles and I've already started using it um, but this is awesome I didn't have one of these I only did one so I saw this and grabbed it straight away I don't remember how much this one was though unfortunately I don't know I think it was £4.50 Again, if you know correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but yeah this is great it's really kind of sturdy material like it's nice and thick um, and I feel like it'll last really well and just yeah it's great so I think that was everything I bought so back to yesterday's vlog okay so I've decided to start sorting a bit more out um, so I put my jumper away and I've also put on the fluffy slippers and they are so so soft it's amazing yeah. they look quite cute i like them they're simple and um, i've also like pulled this out it looks a bit crinkly but i kind of like that look i don't know my room is looking a bit better at least like it's still quite messy but there are less less and less boxes and um i've been putting some clothes away as you can see so far, I only used the bottom two drawers. Um, the second drawer up has all my tops in it. And you saw me earlier filling that up. That wardrobe up. But yeah, I'm slowly getting there. Also, I don't know what I've done to this camera, but there is something wrong with the lens. And I'm... I really don't want to have to pay for a new camera because I'm going to have to pay for a new laptop or at least a lap getting my laptop fixed. I don't have the money for this kind of thing at the moment. I don't know. But every time I turn it on, or not every time, but every few times I turn it on, it'll like zoom in and out loads of times uh, and it'll make a weird like noise which is just terrifying. I really don't want my camera to be making that noise. And then I have to like turn it off and on again for it to work, but <sighs> everything's breaking around me. All my electronics are breaking and I don't want it to happen. <laughs> I don't have the money for it to break. Mm -hmm.